Okay, so let's have a look at the 2019 global account question. So in this, you'll be asked to do four things. So show the global account accumulated fund on the 1st of the 1st, 2018. Show the income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st of the 12th, 2018. And show the club's balance sheet on the 31st of the 12th, 2018. And then there's a bit of theory. So the first thing we need to do is for the accumulated fund, we need to have a look at our assets and liabilities and list them. So what we're going to have is we're going to go through each one of these. So we're going to have club accounts, our clubhouse is going to be an asset, bar stock is an asset, equipment of cost is an asset. So we have them for more than one year. So we're kind of thinking back to what we put onto our balance sheet um, in our question one. Investment income due, so that's an asset, it's due to us. Bar status is an asset, we owe us money. Life membership is a liability, so we owe that back to the club. Our creditors is a liability because we owe the money. Wages due, it's a liability because we need to pay that. Levy reserve fund, we need to pay that back to the business. Subscription received in advance, so it's an income, we received it, so that's also a liability. This here, it's marked in bold, something that you usually see in your service firms. So we're going to have a working on our assets. Okay, so we'll come to that later on. So before we put our club accounts and our equipment in, we're going to have to do an adjustment on our fixed assets. Other items that we also have to include in our club accounts is our bank. So our bank for this question is on the payment side, so it's a liability. If that was on the receipt side, it would be an asset. We also need to look out for investments. So it's telling us how much we're going to receive from our investments, but how much have we invested? So you need to calculate how much our investment is. And then we're going to have a bank loan. So you find out what our bank loan is. That's going to be a liability. And if you find out what our interest is up until the start of the year, that's also a liability. Our investments, we know it's an asset. And something new that they've put in here, transfer from building society, 10,000. It's going to be an asset, okay, because we had that at the start. So we've made a list of all our assets and liabilities. We know we need to make an adjustment on our fixed assets. So before our club, house and course goes in and our equipment goes in, we have to calculate two years depreciation on it and take that away. So tell us in the question down here how much our depreciation is. So depreciation on clubhouse is 2%. And equipment is 20%. So that's going to be our first working that we're going to do for this question. So our e, to calculate our accumulated depreciation, we've got buildings, so it's going to be 550,000. We're going to multiply that by 2%, which is down here, and 20% then is going to be on our equipment at 26,000. So 550,000 by 2% gives you 11,000. We need depreciation for two years, so it's going to be 22,000. And then for equipment, then 26,000 multiplied by 20% gives you 5,200. Multiplied by 2,000 gives you 10,400. So that's how much the depreciation is for two years. So now that we've calculated depreciation, we need to reduce the value of our buildings and the value of our equipment. And that figure then will go into our accumulated fund. So we take the 550,000, we take away the depreciation of 22,000. So the accumulated fund is going to be 528,000. Your equipment then, the value is 26,000. So you're going to take away the cumulative depreciation, which is 10,400. So it's 15,600 goes into the cumulative depreciation or the cumulative fund. So what you should do now is you should list all your assets and liabilities that we have. And we're going to leave blank. So we're going to look at the adjustment that we're going to do for investments. And we're going to look at the adjustment for bank and adjustment for interest. So list, pause the, the, the video. List your assets, list your liabilities, and when you're ready to look at the adjustments for bank and look at the adjustments for interest and look at the adjustments for your investments, press pause again and we'll move on with the video. For your accumulated fund then, you're going to have, you're going to have your heading at the top, accumulated fund for Crest Golf Club on the 1st of the 1st, um, 2010, which will be 2018. Then we've listed all, so we've got our club and courts from working one, so 528,000. Equipment from working one, 15,600, so they're taking our depreciation. Bar stock from the start of the question, 5,800. Investment due from the start of the question, 400. Our bank debtors from the start of the question, 480. And then the bank, our transfer of 10,000. 
So this figure here at the very end, transfer from building society, one that came up that year that students kind of got caught on. So we transferred it at the end, but we had that money in our bank account at the start of the year. So that was 10,000 that we actually had there. Then our liabilities are bank, 7,300. So that's coming from the payment side. We also have life membership at the start, 45,000. Our bar creditors, 750. Wages due, 1,640. Level reserve, 30,000. And then we've got subs prepaid of 1,900. Remember, all of them were at the start. So now what we have to do is to calculate our investments. How much were our investments? How much were our levies? And also our loan and our loan interest. So there are four things that always go in to your account, including your bank as well. So five things in total that won't be listed at the start that you need to include your bank, your investment, your levy, your loan, and your loan interest. So let's have a look at the first of our investment. Okay, so our investments for the year, they are 2,800. So we've got investments due at the start. So investment interest due, 400. That's from the previous year. So we're going to need to reduce our investment income of 2,800 by 400. Because that uh, investment income at the start of the year is from the previous period. So we're going to include um, income and gains, income and expenses for this period. And then in this question, investment income due of 300. So we need to add that onto it to see what is our total investment that we've received. So our amount is 2,800. Due is going to be 400 that we're going to take away at the start of the year to give you 2,400. And then we're going to add on this due then at the end of the year. And that's going to give us 2,700. That 2,700 goes into your, your investment, into your income and expenditure account later on. This 300 is your investment income due. That goes into your balance sheet as a current asset. So this 2,700 Okay, that's our investments, and our investments are 4%. So 4%. So this 2,800, 4% is equal to 2,700, which we've calculated. So remember, we took away the due at the start. We add on the due at the end. So 2,400 divided by 4 will give you 1%. So 100% then is equal to 675 multiplied by 100. So 67,500. That's 67,500 then going to your accumulated fund and also in your balance sheet. So in your accumulated fund here for our investment income, we're going to put that figure in that we just calculated. Your level reserve then is usually coming from the question itself underneath your subscriptions. So we've got a level reserve for last year. So this is due, so five, 50 euro each for 20 members. So that's money that's due to us. So it's going to be 50 euro multiplied by 20. So it's going to be a thousand. So we're going to add up all our assets then to see what the assets are in the business. All right, then our loan then. So our loan is, um, it tells us that our bank loan in 18 months interest at 3% per annum. So this 20,900 includes our interest. So this 20,900 is kind of like our APR rate. So we want to find out what is the interest rate. So it's going to be 3% multiplied by 18, 12. So it's going to give us a percentage. And that percentage then is going to be equal to 20,900. So 3% multiplied by 15 divided by 12. It's going to give you 4.5%. So that 20,900 is going to be our loan, which is 100%, plus the interest, which is 4.5%. So it's going to be 104.5% is equal to 20,900. 1% is going to be equal to 20,900 divided by 104. So I haven't put that in there. So 20,900 divided by 104.5. That's going to give you 200. And 200 multiplied by 100 gives you 20% or 20,000. That's your loan. So our loan is 20,000. And that's what goes into your accumulated fund in here is going to be 20,000 for your loan. Then we need to find out what's our interest. So our interest is, so in the question, it tells us that our interest was 20,900. Our loan was 20,000, so the interest is going to be 900. 
that 900 is paid back over 18 months so it's 900 divided by 18 so it's 50 euro per month and it tells in the question we've got five months for this year so that means there's 13 months left or 13 months that we've paid up until the start so 13 by 50 will give you 650 that's your interest that we've paid so far up to the start of the year which is accumulated fund and then What's left then, this five months, is our interest due, which goes into your balance sheet as a current liability. So we're looking at this 500 or 650 then, goes in here for your interest. 650, you're going to add all these up. So add up all your liabilities. And then you're going to take your liabilities away from your assets to get your accumulated fund capital at the start of the year. So you get 521,540. So remember, you're going to list your assets that you assets and liabilities at the start of the year. And you're going to make sure then five extra items that you're going to include. You're going to include your bank. So if your bank's on your receipt, it's an asset. If your bank is a payment, it's a liability. You're going to calculate your investments. So how much are investments, the total investments? You're going to calculate your bank. You're going to calculate your interest. And then you're going to calculate your levy down here at the end. So this levy that we have down here, that's going to be included as well as an asset because it's due to us. Other items that can come up and be very careful with them is this this piece of all your fixed assets, a bit like your service firms and this transfer of building society. So that's part A, calculate your cumulative fund for our Crestwood Golf Club.